stop what you're doing right now and go grab a bottle of Miracle Food, suitable for all ages, the perfect cleanse and reboot, and it promotes a healthy immune system. Created by some of the most powerful superfoods on the planet, Miracle Food in this day and age is perfect for you. Don't wait. ChakraDoctor.org. Go grab your bottle of Miracle Food right now. Let them know Viral Hip Hop News sent you. Let's go. Gain anything off of Charlemagne drama, you have skeletons too. So just be careful. That's Funk Flex. One of them. Yeah, he's one of them. But I can't, I'm not going to be mad at him. Me either. Because Charlemagne went him. Yeah. And they take the opportunity, you know, to go at each other when they're down. That's just the way it is. That's the man. game, man. You know, but yeah, I, Funk Flex is just Funk Flex, man. I ain't mad at, nah, I ain't mad at Funk Flex. I knew that that was going to happen. Right. It's other motherfuckers. We ain't going to bring up their bitch ass names. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I ain't gonna bring up their bitch ass yeah. names. Not unless it's carried behind a check and in a boxing ring. That's the only <laughs> That's the only thing. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But yeah, let's talk about this story real quick, Sam, man. Um, Ice Cube's former producer, Sir Jinx, is reportedly taking the NWA pioneer to court for unpaid royalties. Now, he said it goes all the way back into 1990, uh, his former producer. Um, all the way back to America's Most Wanted. It says Sir Jinx um, alleges in court documents that an upward of 28 tracks for a cube. He did an upward of 28 tracks for a cube and wasn't compensated properly. Now, check this out, though, Sam. Man. Now, according to the article, they're pretty much saying that Ice Cube was disputing it and said that over the years he has loaned his brother money, which he hasn't paid back. <laughs> so that's kind of the thing going on here. But there are documents filed and he is trying to get his money you know, from those years. What's your thoughts on that? Cry me a fucking <laughs> river. Damn. And it's no disrespect to this brother. We're talking about 1990. We've watched the game <laughs> evolve. How many artists have we talked about over the years that have been in the game in the 90s that have been fucked over in contracts right. and have to deal with it? I'm not saying that Ice Cube fucked him over. I'm not saying that Ice Cube did him right. What I'm saying is if you ain't have your business and your paperwork together since 1990, and we sitting here 32 years out. <laughs> Bruh, cry, cry me a river. You ain't getting that money. It just right. is what it is. Right. And I do believe the Ice Cube loaned the money. Yeah. I don't know why. I just do. It's been there. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> man. So it's, it's betrayal, man. You know, it's just like, all right, you coming back after all these years. Now, if you're entitled to it, you're entitled to it. But that's a long time and you're not saying nothing, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And now you probably need the money. Obviously, you work with Ice Cube. That name is out there. We've seen this happen too many times, and we've been to the level of success on a minor level, not even to where Ice Cube is, right. to where we've seen drama come our way. To so what the fuck is this dude even having a nerve to come out and say he did this or she? Oh, yeah, Get yeah, the yeah. fuck yeah. out of it. So we know how that is, man. And I think this will be a here today, going tomorrow kind of story, and I don't see Ice Cube giving his brother another dime. Nah, he better pay that money back. He loaned Ice. You know I mean, saying? Ice Cube loaned him. That's it. Now, yeah. I'm gonna, let's transition to this, man, because Michael Jackson's back in the news. Shout out to the Michael oh, Jackson shit. family, family, uh, friends of the show. Martin Basher, who did the um, documentary back in the day. I don't know if you've seen that documentary when Michael Jackson was like, don't you like climbing trees? And that, 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 okay, that, okay. that shit, right? He's being, um, he's, the Jackson family's taking legally action right now against Martin Basher, who they allege manipulated and tricked Michael Jackson into the interview. The interview in question was bad when Basher came during a documentary that dropped in 2003 called Living with Michael Jackson. He took a look at Michael Jackson's life um, in Neverland Ranch. Now, mm -hmm. um, Basher passed him, oppressed him about sleeping with kids where he obviously denied it. The whole narrative was brought about with that. And then they threw that narrative out and villainized Michael Jackson. Well, his nephew, friend of the show, Taj, um, now alleged that Basher manipulated footage and unethical journalism. They say Basher tricked Michael the same way he did Princess Diana. The pair stated that Basher manipulated footage and unethically journalism. And one of his main reasons, my uncle Michael is not here today. He added, 2005 trial broke him. Shame on those who provided cover for Basher. Shame on those who rewarded him. My family deserves an investigation and an apology too. Mike's former bodyguard claims that Jackson's family is contemplating taking legal action. Mm. And that's from Taj. Taj. That's from Taj. Oh, dope, dope. It's from the bro Taj. So, um, dope. What do you think about this, man? I know that um, you may not know it offhand, but Martin Bash, if you see this face, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This British British um journalist who does documentaries. I think I heard of him. Yeah, yeah, did the documentary on Mike. It didn't. The narrative wasn't really good, man. He really painted him to be a monster. But now the Jackson family ain't playing. They looking to get this money back, man. Yeah, they've been on the, they've been on the war path these last couple of years, fucking with people who've been messing with their they uncle's name, man. And I love what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, I love it too, man. Um, I would like to see 
how I was manipulated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I had to be a masterful job, but it's definitely, it definitely could be, you know, depending on what somebody says, it could definitely be manipulated either way. But I would like to see that. But, you know, um, dealing with, you know, the Jacksons, Taj and, and them, they seem like pretty um, humble and honest people. Yeah. And um, a lot of people have been a lot of bloodsuckers that have been coming after Michael Jackson and, I'm happy to see that the bloodsuckers now, you know, get there just doing court now for making all that money off of this man and trying to destroy his legacy. Just because he's dead don't mean he can't get, you know, um, recompense for that. So, yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad that in death he still has power and that people ain't going to mess with his name and destroy his name. I seen something that came out with Prince, um, Sinead O'Connor, said that he did some wild tour and he's not allowed to defend himself and it's a tell-all memoir and we understand it's a memoir and it's coming out now but right in all fairness to these people that are no longer alive how are we going to villainize them and change over the entire perspective and perception that we have of them when they're no longer here when they're in the dirt man it's crazy yeah. so i'm glad that michael jackson's family and his estate are are, are are um defending him and going to war for him and i hope they win yeah definitely definitely mm -hmm. i'm gonna do this last story before we get out of here today yes, sam man um black Lives Matter activist Sasha Johnson was shot in the head. I don't know if you've seen I did. that story. I think out in the UK, yeah. you know, today, right now, they're saying that she's in critical condition. I never heard of her, Me honestly, but um, yeah, it's dangerous, man. Uh, what do you think about this, um, her being shot in the head? Um, I was listening to the story. I've seen the news come out a couple couple hours ago. Okay. Obviously, a lot of people were saying, um, are we going to protect our black women? Are we going to Are we gonna let this stand? A lot of people are... Um, irate and upset asking questions on social media which i always think is the wrong way to go but that's how people move nowadays right it is what it is um what i'm also hearing is and i want to get more understanding on it i can't wait to talk about it tomorrow with the good doc apparently oh, yeah. this has nothing to do with the actual um the uh the work she's putting in with black lives matter it has something to do with a gang situation that they're saying and alleging that happened in her area so that okay. she might have been involved with some accidental crossfire or if right. something i don't know the story's not clear right now so i don't know if it had anything to do with her activism or they're trying to steer a narrative that it has something to do with her neighborhood we right. gotta wait for it to come out man but yeah no you don't want to see anybody dying man especially trying to be in activism but activism comes with dangerous territory especially man. on the black side man Yo, man this is sam ant ceo of viral hip-hop news listen i appreciate each and every one of y'all who are going to check out this documentary shout out to my man lonnie fresh do me a favor go to youtube right now Go subscribe to Viral Hip Hop News, one of the best hip hop platforms out here right now. We also have The Hub, Hip Hop News Uncensored, of course, the podcast, the baddest podcast out, the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. We drop seven days a week doing this thing 100% independent. There was not one day that I was at work on the Fresh Prince of Bad Ass that I wished I was somewhere. Now, let's talk about the Players Club because you, I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that's like your first major role in a movie, right? Taking over the game. Really appreciate each and every one of y'all you can grab merch on the youtube site you can talk to me on there and much more sam and ceo of viral hip-hop news appreciate each and every one of y'all god you the man cast i spit white like a clan mask and i'm a hustler